How's it going everyone? Before I get to the video, I really appreciate the support you've been giving the channel and thank you for 500 subscribers. If you're new around here or just found the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribed and helped me reach the 1000 sub count. Thank you. But anyways, on to the video, and there have been quite a few rumors around the Laker team with the NBA returning in a little over a month from now. With that, teams will be able to add free agents again to their team if needed, and this opens the door up to mentioning a couple of guys that could help the Laker team out, especially if a Laker player would test positive for the virus during play, or in the odd chance that a player would choose to sit out and not join the team in the bubble in Orlando. Along with that, we have Pau Gasol recently coming out and saying he would like to finish his career in the NBA next year with the Lakers if given the opportunity and if he is healthy. Also, there have been some small rumors about the Lakers maybe being interested in Bradley Beal. We're going to go over all of this, but first we're going to go over any free agents I think the team should bring in yet this year if they have anyone who chooses to not join the team or would be forced to sit out if they test positive for the virus or if they come down with an injury. I personally don't think the team needs to bring in another free agent right now as long as everyone on the team would come back to play in Orlando when the NBA comes back. Before the NBA did get shut down, they had just signed Deion Waiters and he hadn't even played in a game yet. They need to see his fit on the team before bringing in anyone else. But if the team would have a player choose to not come play or test positive for the virus, there really isn't a whole lot out there for free agents right now. The team really only lacks depth at the forward positions barring injury or positive tests to a different positional player, so what players are out there at the forward position right now to even sign? I know a lot of people might mention J.R. Smith, but I think the team really only wanted to bring in either him or Dion Waiters, not both, as they are both high volume shooters with erratic personalities. With J.R. kind of out of the question then, a couple guys I think they could consider bringing in would be Gerald Green and Jonathan Simmons. It's easy to forget about Gerald Green as he didn't play this year due to breaking his foot, but he may be one of the guys that actually benefited from the NBA being shut down and delayed because now he's likely fully healthy again. He was a regular rotation player for the Rockets before they traded him to Denver and then he got waived. He is incredibly athletic yet, is a capable defender, and a decent shooter. I believe he could be a good addition to the team if they lose a player due to injury or a positive virus test and someone the team should keep their eye on. The other player I mentioned that could also be valuable for depth is Jonathan Simmons. For whatever reason, a team didn't sign him this year and he played in the G League all year, but he could still bring in value and depth to a team. Although he isn't a great shooter, shooting only around 32% on his career from three, he is a great athlete, great defender, and loves to play in transition. He's one of those guys you could put out there to guard the opposing team's best shooting guard or small forward and he'll give you all out effort on defense. He is a high defensive IQ player as well, benefiting from playing under Popovich and San Antonio in the past. It really confuses me why he's not on an NBA roster anymore and I definitely think he would be a good addition if someone on the Laker team can't play. Alright, now moving on to Pau Gasol and him mentioning he would love to play in Lakerland again if given the opportunity. I think it would be a really good idea if he can get healthy again. He wouldn't of course be expected to play very often, but he would undoubtedly be a great locker room guy, good depth, and Laker fans would love to see him back. As long as they don't bring back Dudley as well, I don't see a reason why they wouldn't add Pau if he's healthy, as you really don't need 15 guys in your roster who all expect to play every night anyway. Bringing back Powell would also show how classy of an organization the Lakers are to bring back one of their players from their last championship team for the fans and to show their respect for him. I think this would be a no-brainer if he can get healthy again to play at least 5-10 to 10 minutes a night here and there when they need him. He could basically take on Jared Dudley's role of a locker room guy that brings positivity and a good attitude to the team. I'm all for bringing Powell back. Finally, onto the Bradley Beal rumors. I kind of think these are more fan made rumors than anything, but a lot of people are really trying to push the Bradley Beal to Laker rumors. What do I think about it? I think it is a little far fetched, although it would no doubt make for an interesting idea. Putting Beal beside LeBron and AD would add that third dynamic player that would easily put them above teams like the Clippers and the Milwaukee Bucks in my opinion. Though acquiring him from Washington is easier said than done. I may make a video on some trade scenarios where this could be possible so stay tuned, but Washington really has been adamant about keeping him. They gave him a 2 year extension on his contract and deny any rumors of wanting to get rid of him. And while I don't think Washington is lying, I think they may change their mind a little if they are so bad next year with John Wall back, it doesn't seem like they are going anywhere with their current team. Washington has a very young team, so if they ever would try to trade Bradley Beal, they would want a young potential star like Kyle Kuzma and multiple draft picks in return at the very least. Along with that, the rumor is that Washington may only trade Beal if a team would also be willing to take John Wall and his huge contract back as well. 
If that would be true, there is no way the Lakers would even consider trading for Beal. As LeBron is already on a max deal, they will be giving AD a max deal this summer, and Bradley Beal already has a big contract himself. I think Bradley Beal to the Lakers is a fun idea, but really just widespread fan rumor. Again, I definitely think he would improve the team, but I don't think there's a very high chance it will happen. But anyways, I think that'll do it for this video. What do you guys think of the NBA coming back and if the Lakers should consider bringing in any free agents? Let me know in the comments and if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, thank you for watching.